humans. Today I want to invite you to see all the creative process behind one of my images. You're going to see how I took the photo and created this. And this is going to be so much fun because it's the first time I'm going to show you how I make myself portraits. Okay, we are here, back home. We are shooting in the living room. I think this corner over here works fine. I really like this lamp with the blonde lady holding a cat, so we're adding this to the frame. This lamp will illuminate me directly, and this large window with beautiful light coming in will do the rest. Now we need to talk about props. I brought a lot of options to choose from, but we're only going to need a shirt, a vest, and this pillow stuffing. Actually, this is the same pillow stuffing that I've used to make some of my favorite pictures. I kind of feel like we're friends or something. It sounds weird, I know, but I'm very fond of it. Now you know what we're using, so let's move all this furniture and make some test shots. I took away all the other objects because I want all the attention on the subject and the lab. I do this now because I don't have a clear idea of the composition and pose. And uh, since this is a soft portrait, the only way to see how it looks, besides my imagination of course, is to make these tests. In order to achieve the illusion that my arm is missing, I hid it inside my shirt and then with the other hand placed all the stuffing inside the vest. I only need this as a reference because I can make it look better in Photoshop if I need to. Wait a sec, before you say something, I know I should have done this before with both of my arms, but I totally forgot. Since in this concept I'm a ragdoll, I want to make the most uncomfortable pose possible. But I have to show my right arm, so the lack of my left arm is more obvious. That means I can only play with my legs. Also, you probably noticed that when I lean closer to the table and the lamp, my face is more illuminated and the result is more interesting and appealing. The way I work when I'm making a self-portrait is pretty much always the same. I take some photos, then stand up, go back to the camera, see the photos I took, and start again till I feel that I have the main shot. I did this back and forth and back and forth like 6 or 7 times in 30 minutes. During the shoot, I realized that I could make a story behind this picture, because I have these two interesting characters. I have the porcelain girl and the ragdoll boy. So with that in mind, I started brainstorming and this idea came up to me, like they are having a relationship and it has been a really hard relationship, they have too many differences. 
like she is too small and he is too big and she's made of porcelain and he is not. But they went through all that in the past. The real actual problem is that even though she is made of porcelain, he is the one who is broken. So I decided to make her give the back to the camera so it looks like they're having a conversation. It's always useful to have a background story for your pictures because this will give you more material to work with. I can't even begin to explain how much I needed my arm to finish this picture, but I think I have done it. I think I made it. Ugh. Now I have my arm back and that's quite nice. So I think we're done. I just need to organize all this again and then I'm going to edit this picture. This is the original image I chose to edit. And those are other pictures I took of the place so I could make the composition bigger in Photoshop. And then I started making some arrangements. First I had to hit the sleeve of the shirt and if you pay attention you will see that the vest is a little bigger than it should and that's because my arm is inside it. Also, there are some details we need to clean, like the wire from the lamp, the floor, and to do this I use the patch tool. Now let's work on the missing arm. The image I've chosen doesn't have any stuffing on it, so I just took another picture that does have the stuffing and replaced it. I also added some threads and some torn fabric, but I removed that later on because I think it's too distracting. Now let's color correct. Just when I started editing, I made some color corrections to have a better idea of what I was doing. And since this story talks about an impossible relationship, I think the blues should be present. That way it will have a really cold and distant mood. To color correct, I always use lots and lots of layers. That way I can achieve exactly what I want. I use brightness and contrast, hue and saturation, curves and some others. Actually, I'm planning to make a video about the color correction. Let me know if this is something you want to see. We're almost done now, but seeing the picture made me realize that the porcelain girl should be bigger. So let's do exactly that. And that's it, friends. This is the final image. I really, really hope my process helps you have a better idea of how to make and edit soft portraits. I'm planning to make more videos with tips and tutorials, so subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching!